Hello friends, I am Dr. Suresh Pandey and today I am going to show you cataract surgery with implantation of Lucidus Enoff lens manufactured by Swiss Advanced Vision. The first step is the side port incision and this is side port incision you can see here and this will be followed by injection of preservative free intracranial lignocaine and now I'm going to inject which is this coat and you can see the injection of chondroitin sulfate based ovary the advantage of the chondroitin sulfate based ovary is that it protects the endothelium and it has negative charge which binds to the positive charge of endothelium so, this is my other side port incision and I am going to inject this a little more so that the chamber becomes deep and the eye becomes firm. 180 degree, so this is my main incision and I am going to create capsular excess of about 5 mm in size. So, this is the capsular excess process and you can see the capsular axis being done and the size of the capsular axis is about 5 mm. The beauty of the Lumera microscope is that you can see very nice red reflex and it's possible to create the capsular axis without staining the ring of the added delineation. The lens is free now and you can rotate the lens clockwise and anti-clockwise and I'm going to use the quantity sulfate was placed only once again to hold the endothelium and the lens is free you can rotate it clockwise and anti-clockwise because it's free and you can see very nice uh, golden ring and I'm going to do the vertical the horizontal chop so you can see the lens is engaged and you can see the beautiful two pieces and this is the horizontal chop. You can use the vertical chop also in this case, but I just use the horizontal chop technique. And this is again I'm going to chop to use paper chop, and I'm going to and this is the second piece which I'm going to remove now. This is the second piece you can see. And now after emulsifying the second piece, I am going to rotate the half part of the nucleus and then I am going to emulsify. This is the half part of the nucleus. The half part is emulsified. So this is rotation when you hold it like this, bring it to the center and then chop it. So in my right hand, I have a blunt chopper. And the advantage of blood chopper is that once you chop the nucleus, protect the endothelium, I am going to inject the viscoelastic with my other hand so that I can protect the endothelium with the chondritic surface was placed already. And here you can see this is the last nuclear fragment being emulsified. I am staying in the center and I have the blunt chopper in my non-dominant hand which is my right hand and you can see I am trying to remove the last nuclear fragment and this is and the advantage of the good hydrodesection in the and the advantage of the wonderful and like this and once you eat it out the lens is there in this special plastic case so here you can see this is the intraocular lens okay 
This is, you can just remove it and just take it out. And you can see this is the lens inside. And this is the intraocular lens. This is this eye hole. And this, the beauty of this lens is that I'll just show you by holding it like this. And you can see this is the lens. This is the lens by Swiss Advanced Vision. And if I just try to show you the less power, less magnification, you can see uh, this is the simple uh, piece lens and uh, it has 360 degrees square edge. This is manufactured from the hydrophilic acrylic material with 26% uh, water content. The haptic, uh, the overall size is 10.8 mm and the optic size is 6 mm. And if you see carefully, you can see there is a, there is a 1 mm central Lensy there, you can see carefully. You can see if you can make out. And this one millimeter, make, you can have feeling that this one millimeter central part is there. And this provides very good near and intermediate vision. This does not have any rings, and this is based on pseudo diffractive near beam principle, P, B, and B principle. And the beauty of this lens is this does not cause any glare, halos, and this is very high MTF, which is 0.6 compared to 0.37 on Oxynergy. So this is the one of the best technology currently available. And once you want to load this lens in the cart. We are just going to put the lens in the cartridge like this after we get the plunger and then close the cartridge carefully like this and once you close it you can inspect the lens and once I am pushing it and you can see the lens is advancing I can see it very well and the lens is ready to deliver and this can go into Insert the lens. So the lens is inside, and now you can see and you can see how nicely the lens is coming. This is the perfect centration of the lens and the intraocular lens. I am removing the viscoelastic and you can see I am removing the viscoelastic behind the lens and the uh, lens does not cause any glare or halo and it provides excellent near and distance vision. And there is no loss of any light, so the MPU function is excellent and there is no incidence of glare and halos. So this is the remote of the last. And you can see the rexis is nicely covering the 
And you can see this is the bump, the central one millimeter part, which is exipon. I'm just going to show you with high magnification. So if you see the high magnification, I'm just going to tilt the eye. Just so if you see the high magnification, you can see this, this part. I will and uh, would like to. This is the injection of intracranial radiotic field by MC1, and this is the injection of intracranial moxiprocessing. So now the surgery is over, and this is the friends. You have seen the cataract surgery with the implantation of Lucidis. EDOF intraocular lens manufactured by the Swiss company, Swiss Advanced Vision Company and uh, this lens is one of the most exciting intraocular lens in the field of ophthalmology and it contains the, it provides the excellent near vision, distance vision without any glare and halogen. Thank you very much. Dr. Suresh Pandey, Suresh Hospital, Kota.